I want another combo after the uppercut. Mm, after the player launches himself into the air, I want some sort of a smash attack as it comes to back to the ground. Let me exit play mode. And here, in this folder, I've created my own animations. I'm not much of an artist, but I've created my own animations. You can download this in the links below. I've divided into three parts. One is the preparation stage, where he sort of lunges into this preparation animation. And then he does the ground punch, downward ground punch, and then the finish. So I'm going to put these animations into a single move. I only need one type of landing, so I'm going to get rid of landing one, and I'm only just going to keep landing two. I'm going to go into the animator for the player, the animator window. First, I want to fix this a little bit. After the uppercut, I don't want the player to go into the idle motion. I want it to go straight into the falling motion because He's already in the air. So from uppercut to fall. Force transition is true. So that's when we move. Let me test it out. Okay, looks all right. I think the transition might be a little too fast. So let me smooth it out a little bit. Okay. Looks about right for me. I'm going to go into the states, state scripts folder. And I want an another ability. Let me just create a new script and call it check attack. Go into it. And let me press Control T to get the idle script because it's going to look very similar. So copy idle to check attack, change the names, get rid of the idle script. Except I still want to be able to check for attacks, so I'm going to get rid of everything except for this line. Okay. Let me save and go back to Unity. I'm going to go to the States folder. And I'm going to create a general ability. General check attack. And I'm going to go back to the animator. And I want the fall to have that check attack ability. Check attack. And whenever we press attack while we're in the falling motion, I want to get into the smash attack. So let me look for it. Prep, smash prep. And I want the transition to be based on the attack parameter. Here it is. I think this is way too fast. Let me make it 0 0.5 to make the transition a little smoother. Okay, let me test it out. Okay, so after uh, the uppercut, if we press attack again, we go into this uh, preparation stage for another combo. Now I'm going to go back to the animator again, and I want to transition from prep to landing. And that's going to be based on whether, what the hell, whether the player is grounded or not. So I'm going to add in the parameter, grounded. And for the prep, I want the 
check check ground ability. I think that's what it was called, ground de ground detector ability. So because the preparation has the ground detector ability, we can check for the ground. And if the player is grounded, we go into the landing motion. Okay. Landing might be a little too slow, so let me speed it up a little bit. 1.2. Let me test it out during runtime. Okay, looks all right. First, I want the landing to transition back to idle, go into finish, and then go into idle. So I'm going to go to the states and create a force transition ability for the landing part. So player smash landing force transition. I want to go all the way up to 99%. So smash landing is going to have that ability. Force transition. Smash landing, force transition. And if it says force transition is true, we go into the finish motion, which is nothing more than just holding for, for a brief moment. Okay, and then from the finish, we go back into idle. Again, let me create another force transition ability. Player smash finish force transition. For this, I'm just going to try 50%. I'm going to fix the numbers later. And again, I'm going to add the ability to the finish force transition for the finish. And I'm going to set up the parameter. Make sure we don't have the exit time. Force transition is true. Okay. I haven't fine-tuned the animations yet, but let me just check what it looks like first. So I'm going to go into the uppercut. Smash Okay Seems to be working fine except the transition is way too slow from prep to landing Maybe I'll speed this up 1.5 And here I want it to be much faster the transition. Let me try again. So the initiation seems too fast and landing seems too slow. Let's go and fix it. Maybe this is way too slow. Let me try three or all the way up to five because it's way too slow. Okay, much better. So that actually looks like he's punching. I want the transition to be a little smoother now. And I also want the transition to be a little smoother. It was again. It's just a lot of fine tuning. Still seems way too fast. I think it's the uppercut to the fall that is way too fast. Okay, let me tweak the transition again. Fall to prep.
Okay. I want the punch to be faster. I want it to make it look like there's a little more impact. So make the transition shorter for the punch. Okay, that looks about right. I want to go into the attack script because I think I might have forgotten something. I'm going to go into the exit. Okay, and upon exit, I want to be able to clear the press. So you got to press again or hold on if you want to trigger the next combo. Okay. Looks good. For this video, let me just focus on getting the animation right, the basic parts of the animation. I want the transition to be faster. Prep to landing again. Okay, I like that a little better. If you don't press in time, you don't get to smash because you're already in the ground. You have to be in the air. Okay, that looks about right. There's a lot of stuff to do here, things like you want some hang time after you do the uppercut, as well as some movement when you get into the smashing combo. And those kind of details I think I'll do in the next video. For now, I'm happy that we got the basics working. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.